Well, in my last video, I had uh, reported that President uh, Biden is stepping down. Uh, I shouldn't say stepping down, but he's stepping aside. He will not be running for re-election. And of course, since then, Israel uh, was uh, attacked by Hezbollah. And in retaliation, of course, we know they, one of Hezbollah's uh, leaders and also one of Hamas's leaders were assassinated. And Israel says that they will continue to do so. In fact, they're waiting for Iran, Hezbollah, and Hamas, and of course also the Houthi, Houthis, to respond. And Israel says that they have a uh, plan in just in case they do. Of course, I'm sure that the uh, internet is on fire. And many in the world of uh, Bible prophecy are excited about what's going on because they believe that this is a sign that the rapture is at hand. And certainly the rapture may be at hand, but the one has nothing to do with the other. As you know, over the years, Israel has had many uh, different battles, for which two of them, back in 1967 and 1971, had Israel being attacked by multiple nations. Now, the problem with today's Bible prophecy world, every time something happens, uh, we're on rapture alert. Now, of course, I'm not putting you on rapture alert because there are no signs for the rapture. Now, that's number one. Number two, the signs that will uh, preclude the tribulation period are uh, wars and rumors of wars, earthquakes, famines, and pestilence. Now, of course, those are going on right now, not necessarily in the order of which, which I just uh, made, but these signs are definitely taking place all over the world. Now, if I were you, I would keep an eye on what is going to be taking place in the next, I don't know, six months. I think we're building up to what is going to begin the tribulation period and that not being a war, of course, everybody's looking at Iran's uh, response. But I think you're looking at the wrong place. You really, really need to be looking at what uh, the Middle East is going to do to stifle Iran's response. And, you know, that's really what the Bible's talking about when it talks about in Daniel 9.27 that in the last days that there would be a seven-year peace plan that would... Uh, ensure the protection of uh, places not only uh, like Israel, but also Saudi Arabia and all the other modern Arab world nations that fear Iran. But it seems like what's going to take place is, and it seems like it's going to take place um, after the U.S. elections in November or sometime thereafter, that this peace accord that I'm talking about could take place. Now, of course, the question is, is whether or not Iran is going to break this Middle East uh, region into a complete war. Now, frankly, I don't see that taking place because I don't think Iran believes there's any, there's any circumstance which they believe that they could beat Israel in a head-to-head -head fight. In fact, I think that they're terrified of Israel, and I don't think that there's any chance that they would risk getting into a regional war because I think they would uh, believe that they would be soundly defeated, and I don't think there's any doubt in their mind that that would be the end result. But that just opens up another Bible prophecy that will take place in due time, which is the Gog and Magog War, which is in Ezekiel 38 and 39. And that is when uh, Iran will finally get the firepower from major nations behind them. And with that, they will finally have the courage to attack Israel. But frankly, I don't believe now is the time. So I wouldn't look for any direct attack that's going to bring about a major regional war. Now, is it possible that uh, some uh, drones or a few missiles might be fired at Israel, that, which will all be knocked down once again? Or that Iran will try to attempt to assassinate some Israeli leader or I some Israeli-connected leader? Now, certainly they may do something that drives the Middle East, modern Arab world to come together and to propose partnership or plan that will uh, protect them from Iran and their... Uh, proxies around the world. So it'll be interesting to see what happens once the elections are over and to see if there is some type of effort to bring the Middle East together to try to build some type of shield against Iran. Now on to the U.S. election. Of course, Kamala Harris has just received enough delegates to uh, represent the Democrats in the uh, next presidential election. Now, of course, the question is, is can she win? Well, if all things are fair, I don't believe there's any chance she can win. But the question is, is whether or not the Democrats can pull another 
rabbit out of the hat and uh, cheat their way to winning this election. If, we, if they do, they deserve it. Certainly, if the Republicans don't uh, learn from the last election, they're never going to learn. Now, let me take the time to remind you, number one, if you're not a member of my Gitter account uh, and you want to receive up-to-date uh, videos and other things, I would go to Gitter and I would sign up, look for Terry Malone or the Calvary Prophecy Report, search it out, and then follow me and you will get, uh, any time that I have a video that comes out, you'll be able to get a notification from that. And also I send out information and my take on a lot of things, all that pertain to what's going on in Bible prophecy around the world. And of course, you can also sign up in YouTube, hit the notification bell, uh, become a subscriber, but your best bet is to get on my Gitter account. Now, in ending this video, I'm not going to send you down some rabbit hole or tell you the world's about ready to end, that the U.S. economy is about ready to explode, because it's not. Frankly, I believe that the U.S. will turn out to be Mr. Babylon. And when the United States does go down, it will go down all in one day. And it appears in Scripture that it will be destroyed in one day. So no, I'm not looking for the stock market to blow up or some type of other economic collapse to take place. Because once the Antichrist takes over, he won't be able to rule uh, in, the way, in the way that he wants to rule if a world power such as the United States and the allies of the United States are around. So as I said, it appears that uh, the United States will be destroyed in one day. But of course, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Certainly, if you're a Christian, you're not going to be here to see that happen anyway. And frankly, I don't even know if you'll have the interest to watch it once you're in heaven. Many believe that we won't. We'll be too busy praising the Lord, doing the things that he wants us to do, celebrating and marveling at the new world in which we now live. But unfortunately, not everybody's going to see that. Only those who know the Lord. And if you don't know the Lord, today is the day that you need to get saved. Don't put that decision off. Come to the Lord. Ask Him to save you. Repent of your sins and from this day forward, live for Him. And those who are Christians, you need a copy of my Tribulation Period Survival Guide. You are going to have lost loved ones who are going to be left behind. You certainly need to get a copy to each of these individuals. So go down to the description section of this video. Click on the link that will take you and get you the copies that you need. And I hope you'll go ahead and do that. Well, this is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.